and we're back. It's officially testing day today. We assembled this back in town, but uh, since the outside temperature wasn't enough to support uh, human life, we've waited till it's finally warmed up to test it. So we've actually brought the Jeep out to the acreage to do some thrashing around, test its limits, and go from there. We'll probably do some performance stats, maybe some top speed. We might lay out a track and do a few laps. And we have a few vehicles in the fleet to kind of compare to each other to get some lap times. This is a 2008 Raptor 250. Uh, we bought new and we've been playing with it. This vehicle over here is one that I bought last year. It's a Coleman BT200X. Now, of course, we can't leave anything stock. So the 196cc Honda clone has had a stage one kit put on it. So it's got a new carburetor, a tuned exhaust pipe. The governor is still on it. We did not detach the governor. Uh, k and filters, uh, aftermarket crankcase breather system, and the sprocket on the rear wheel has been changed to a 60 tooth from the original 50, just to give it a little bit more lowing grunt for us big guys. Other than that, it's stock. Alrighty, away we go. We're gonna try out the Jeep's crawler gear. Oh, not enough. Let's get a little momentum first. Well, first we're gonna test top speed now that we've had a little bit of playing. And so this hill is real gradual. I'm gonna go up to that first entrance to the field, turn around and come back. And I have a GPS app that'll track my top speed. So then we'll report back the results. What an epic fail. So yeah, I get up there, it stalls, and I'm trying to turn around, and it stalls. I get the thing around, get it in reverse, and it stalls. And I finally get it to go. Get all the way in first, get it in second. I'm going downhill. I figure, oh, here we go. Gonna finally run it out in third gear. Pop it in third. And you go back to second. Try and rev it out. Go back to third. It just did, you know. Made a few adjustments to the carburetor, but. Uh, it still can't get the thing to idle or it's got no power in third gear. I don't know if it's just the way of the beast or if there's some more tuning that needs done. Unfortunately, this, this little Chinese engine just didn't have the torque that I require. But got her as fast as I could go in second gear. I think technology is a liar. I reset my all-time maximum speed and it just says I did 60.6 .6 miles per hour. Um, no way was I going that fast. So I guess we're gonna watch it live. Well, I just attempted to do a top speed run in a little uh, Coolster Jeep and uh, <laughs> had a little smoke come out. Well, let's see if we blew up the engine or not. Let's see here. Uh, maybe. We Maybe we just got a little bit of oil uh, where it shouldn't have gone, driving on this uh, steep embankment here. We'll limp her back and see what, what, uh, what's up. Well, I uh, went to the top of the hill and climbed the embankment to get enough swing to turn around. And I think sustained high RPM on a high embankment followed by turning down into a deep crevice uh, Got a little too much oil on the, on the rings. She started smoking real bad. I shut her down. I think we're good. It sounds like it's running all right, but we'll give it a once over. Survey says top speed, second gear, 15 mile an hour. Next up is the Coleman. Coleman is way superior with a 22 mile an hour top speed. With ease, I might add.
Well, next up is the four-wheeler for the top speed run. Verdict says 46 miles an hour top speed. We picked out a route to do to take some timed laps. There's two buildings and a garage, and we're gonna basically just do kind of a big loop with a small jump over the driveway. Up first is the Jeep, of course. Three, two, one, go! Looks like my best lap was a 50.82, while the slowest is about 53 and a half to 54 seconds, so not too bad, I'd say. Next up is the uh, Coleman mini bike. All right, three, two, one, go. <laughs> I was getting some sick air, man. This thing is sketchy. Where are we getting air at? The freaking driveway. <laughs> it is so fast through there, and I'm getting all both wheels off the ground, and I'm bouncing when I land. And it is fast and sketchy because the front tire keeps trying to come off the ground. So that's the number one struggle is trying to keep the steering on the ground. <laughs> well, we finished the laps with the mini bike. Uh, not surprisingly, it was considerably faster than the Jeep, but it was also considerably more sketchy since right out here in this first corner, there's a lot of big holes and humps, and I've been trying to pick a different line each time on the laps, but couldn't find quite a smooth line, so it's pretty bumpy. <laughs> Sucker was a lot of fun. Uh, I believe the best time for the Jeep was about 50 seconds, or 50.85, I believe it was. The best time for the mini bike was 37 seconds. 0.05 so yeah definitely considerably faster so next up we're gonna do the four wheeler just for for fun even though it's not really an equal comparison three two one go That's a workout. It's one of those that when you reach the bottom of the, the ditch over here, as I turn to go straight towards the, and over the driveway, I don't dare give it any more throttle once I finally get the thing straight, because <laughs> that means a lot more air time that's just not necessary for a lap time, but it is still fun. Well, the four-wheeler, uh, not surprisingly, was considerably faster. Uh, while the mini bike best time was about 37 seconds, uh, this one pulled a 31.16. Uh, it is considerably faster speeds, and I actually need to be strategic as to my braking zones, or I've been blowing through corners going way too fast. When we were hot lapping this thing, 
uh, a lot of the bouncing around causes it kind of smoke and lose power. So it might have been uh, a little more rough than it was designed for. <laughs> I don't think so. I think it was built to be beat because it's a go-kart. And what do people do with go-karts? They jump them and they race them and they rumble them. And so compared to my Coleman mini bike, this thing is awesome. It's got the little 196 cc motor, a little Honda clone, and once again, it's got the stage one carb and header on it. This thing is fantastic. Even with a sprocket on it, it'll do wheelies all day long. You have to really be careful not to pull the front wheel off the ground. So we need to make the upgrades that I did to this and make something like that work for the Jeep. Because this one has just a centrifugal clutch. So this one, you just gun it and go. This, I thought I'd really like the idea of the, the transmission that you could shift, but it, it's not refined enough to, for me to really like it. You keep running out of power or you don't have enough speed in a certain gear, it doesn't seem like there's a good sweet spot for this thing, at least for us big guys. It so. needs a close ratio transmission and it's not. You go from wound out in second gear, hit it in third and it just about stalls it. It's got such a big gear jump. Yeah. Compared to the Yamaha four-wheeler, that's not even a comparison. This it's, is a whole this is a whole different beast. It's, it's not mini bike go-kart parts. Yeah, we have two Honda Civics and a supercar. I mean, yeah. Not really comparable. To start with, I think we're going to upgrade the fuel tank. We're gonna maybe work on that here in a couple days. Put a fuel tank on it, get rid of that goofy little pulse fuel pump, and see if that makes a difference. There's a couple little things we talked about upgrading. I think we go ahead. We we got the flag on. Although the flag mount's gonna change, it'll get moved somewhere else so it doesn't whack in the back of the head. And uh, we'll, we'll start with that. Thanks for checking us out. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see what we do next.